Good morning, I'm Kate Irby and these are the Burlington Herald Top Headlines for Monday, November 16th. Our top story today, more than 100 people gathered Saturday to mourn for Janiah Thomas, the 11-year-old who was found stuffed in a freezer in October after her mother took the freezer to a relative's home. The Reverend Edward Barthel said he would continue to pray for and love the mother, Kishana Thomas, and that everybody sins. The life of the grandmother of Janiah was also celebrated as she died earlier this month. In other top news, Pipeline Swimming is looking to invest in the John H. Marble Pool in Bradenton so the pool could be open year-round and be used for competitive swimming leagues for children. But Patrick Piper, the co-owner of Pipeline Swimming, said no matter what he offers to pay, the county says it would be too expensive and it can't be done. County officials say opening the pool would require hiring two full-time positions, which is not affordable. Mount Gilead Seventh-day Adventist Church passed out Thanksgiving meals and homeless care bags on Sunday. About 1,300 people, including 58 homeless people, came to the church for the meal, and the church also handed out 65 to 70 boxes of food to 240 families as part of their monthly food pantry. Check out these stories and more in the Bradenton Herald and at Bradenton.com.